Hi, my name is Alex Wiles and thank you for watching MMP TV, where we tell the untold stories of those uniting across struggles to build a movement to end poverty. Today we're joined by Henry Pierre Luis and Stanley St. Louis. Henry and Stanley are both finishing the 11th grade at South Philly High and are both members of Philadelphia Student Union. Philly Student Union is an organization that supports student voice and works to build power in our schools. Today we'll be talking about the ways that Philly Student Union has been organizing to stop school closures and to ensure student involvement and in decisions being made about our schools. How are you guys doing? Thanks for coming. Good. I feel so good now. I'm here talking to you. All right, great. Tell us about why you joined the Philadelphia Student Union. Um, I joined Philadelphia Student Union because they give a student voice and also they have a lot of um, students there and adults that really care about school and they make me think like a leader, they make me act like a leader and they give me power that I can share my voice to all the nation. I would say I joined the Philadelphia Student Union because you feel like you, you're making someone's life better by giving them a voice. Philadelphia Student Union is an organization that helps young people. If you was like me, you would feel like you joined Philadelphia Student Union. You make, you make students feel better about themselves. You make yourself feel better when you have a voice in something. When you have a voice, you feel, you feel good about yourself. I joined the Philadelphia Student Union because I feel like it gave me a voice. Sounds like it's really empowering, actually. It sounds really cool. Yeah. So we understand that South Philly High, your school, is going to be a receiving school for some of the surrounding schools that are being closed. So what will this mean for you and your school, and what has your PSU chapter been doing to address these changes? Um, to address these changes in PSU, um, we are doing a big lesson. Um, me and my, uh, all the members in PSU in my school, we meet with the leader in PSU, a chapter, where we talking about um, how we gonna address this to the student to make them understand how the school going to be next year when the book come over my school, Safile. And we make a plan, and the plan, we come with a big lesson. We think is going to be important, and we think we are the only program in the school that can share idea with the student. And we're doing the big lesson where we're talking to each class individual. We, um, because some of the students have a lot of questions they want to ask. They don't know who they're going to ask and who's going to answer them. But we get this idea and we're doing the big lesson and we get the question where we give a point or principle I need to um, answer some of the student question and make the student understand more about the transition about the next year, next year school year. So really disseminating information, making people more a part of the decision making, helping them understand what's going on. Yeah. All right, so we're going to watch, let's watch some of the footage from the Big Listen. Yeah, I would love to watch it. All right. Last year, they announced that they were going to close down a bunch of schools, and one of the schools was Bach. Ever since then, Student Union, uh, we've been thinking of ways that we could ease the transition into um, Bach coming here and Southern, you know, joining together, and we came up with the big lesson. My name is Venus. Y'all know that by coming uh, next year, we're here to uh, get any thoughts, any questions, any concerns that y'all have about by coming here next year. What we're trying to do is get as much information from Principal Hackney, the district, 
our assistant principals as much as they have. So, um, welcome. This is the 10th grade class. Let me share with you what I know about the move for next year. So we know that Bach Technical High School is being closed. Their CTE programs, which stands for Career and Technical Education, their programs are coming here to South Philadelphia High School. A lot of people say that um, Bach and Southern are enemies and there'll be a lot of fights. They're worried about class sizes and teachers coming here and all that other stuff. <laughs> The question was, do I know the amount of students that are coming in next year? The date was pushed back until this Friday for students to submit their request. When we do the big listen, we will set up a meeting with either the juniors, sophomores, or freshmen, and we'll get their input, and then we'll give them information that they need. With the big listen, we just try to just try to help students realize that this is not going to be easy. We want them to get used to it. We want us to get used to it as well. Take the best of what they have with the best of what we have. We will have a phenomenal school. And if you are one of the type of person that wants to goof off and not go to class and not do this, you're going to stand out, actually. Well, if everything does go well, I think it would be really different. <laughs> but um, I also think it would be good. I think it would be good for people because um, there will be new programs, new opportunities and new people to meet and that'll help us with, with like communication skills on how to meet new people and interact with new people. It seems like you guys really created a process that allowed for the building of leadership among students, which is really cool, the way that you guys empowered yourselves and you really made, you're really starting to make sure that students have, have a say, you know, have a voice in these really big changes that are happening all across the city. And I feel like what you did can act as a great model for other people who are experiencing similar transitions in their schools. So what are some of the next steps in your chapter in PSU's work across the city? Um, meet with our principal, where we're talking to him, we ask him we want um, some program like a restorative practice. The restorative practice, I mean like, um, example, my school, if a student fight or do a thing bad, can get a suspension mm -hmm. or get arrested for no reason, goes, uh, in prison or go home sitting, don't go to school. Which of course makes the problem worse. Yeah, that's what make it worse. And the student cannot think in, why I got this man, he's gonna think I drop out of the school. And we don't want that. We want the student to come to school. And that's why we want the restorative practices where we can talk to him. Because it, I would say, um, student can understand student. If we are a practice where student talk to other student, tell them what they're doing there and ask them how, be, why you doing it, and we can get the idea and we can stop that happening. So really building support for students to ensure that more students actually graduate? Yeah, we want more students graduate, not more students drop out. The thing we're gonna do, we're gonna still fighting the um, school district, stop closing school down, because I think they Get high, uh, they might think into closing more school next year, but we're gonna still fighting them. We're trying to stop this school district from closing all the school they are planning to close uh, because they're not really investing in our school. They just want us to drop out, uh, closing the closing the public school and investing in charter school. Uh, they don't really give public school a second chance. They just trying to give up on public school, but we are, as PSU member, we want public school to be one of the main line where our children can go to. I think they need to invest more in the school before they close it down. Really, there's, they're clearly not investing on it by not giving no teachers, no books. Uh, no, no supply for this for the classroom uh, where students can really learn.
we need to invest more on it uh, so we can get a second chance. How has Philly Student Union been organizing students to confront some of these problems happening across the city right now? Uh, one way the Philadelphia Student Union has been organizing is that we have rallies, we have trips to Arisberg where we fight for the budget cut in the school district and we have rallies protesting about the school closing. Uh, we have a uh, retreat where students meet, we discuss about how the school district has been holding back uh, money from our school, they don't want public school. And We've been doing a lot. All right, so it sounds like you guys have been doing a lot to make sure people are knowledgeable about the problems that are happening, especially with that trip to Harrisburg about yeah. the budget cuts and the school system. Okay, so how can others get involved with this movement that is being built by the Philadelphia Student Union? If you are um, a student or if you are um, a teacher or parents who are watching me right now, you can talk to your children, talk to your student about the PSU. And also we have a website at www.freelaystudent.org. You can join, we have also a newsletter that's our article on it. You can watch it online. And also you can give a donation in our website. Okay. Uh, also we have a radio show where we talk about it. I What's think the radio show called? Uh, on Blaze. On Blast? Yeah. Okay. I would say we need your voice. You should stand up now and join us. Cool. So you guys are created like a lot of venues for people to express themselves and learn about what's going on and become involved, which is really great because you always need more room to build leadership and build a movement. I think the more people we get, the more power we have. Yeah. So exactly. we need people to build power. So you have to join us. Yeah, join us right. in the fight. Great. Thank you guys for coming. Thank you. At MMP, we know that struggles for education, healthcare, housing, and living wages are deeply connected and that it's going to take all of us building a movement to ensure that people come first in our society. Stay tuned on Philly Cam and at MediaMobilizing.org. I'm Alex Wiles and thank you for watching MMP TV.